Hello, my name is Colin Fan. I'm a pharmacy student at the California North State University College of Pharmacy class of 2022. Today I will be talking about stromectal, also available generically as ivermectin, and its usage in COVID-19 treatment. Ivermectin is commonly used for the treatment of parasitic infections and lice. Those two parasitic infections are stomach worms and river blindness. The capsules are to be taken by mouth on an empty stomach and with water. The lotion can be used topically to, um, to apply to dry hair and leave on for 10 minutes before washing off. There are a few warnings and side effects associated with ivermectin. Patients should avoid using ivermectin systemically in, in children less than 2 years of age or under 15 kilograms. Some side effects associated with ivermectin include the Mazzotti reaction, and those symptoms include fever, rash, swollen lymph nodes, myalgia, tachycardia, diarrhea, and dizziness. So more background about ivermectin is that it is an antiparasitic medication commonly used for in horses and at lower doses it can treat parasitic worms and for lice. As of recent, the FDA has received multiple reports of patients who require medical support after self-medicating with ivermectin for the treatment of COVID-19. Mechanism of action. It is the simple semi-synthetic agent that binds selectively and strongly to glutamate gated chloride channels that are present in invertebrates, um, nerve and muscle cells. While doing this, it leads to an increased permeability to, of the cell membrane to chloride, which in turn hyperpolarizes the cell and leads to cell death and parasitic death. Some pros of ivermectin include, it usually only requires one dose for the treatment of stomach worms. It is very inexpensive. It has rare side effects when taken just one time. And can it be used in children over 15 kilograms. Some cons about the medication include, it needs, um, while treating for stomach worms, patients need to um, have stool tests uh, to uh, confirm that the worms are no longer present after taking the medication. It has many side effects if taken long term for the treatment of river blindness and it can also affect warfarin levels when taken together. And lastly, ivermectin does not have enough support for COVID-19 treatment. Ivermectin was thought to be an effective medication in treating COVID-19 by having an inhibitory effect on severe acute, respi severe acute respiratory syndrome from SARS-CoV-2. In order to slow reproduction of the virus, a large dose is required. The patients can have major side effects when taken at uh, when taking large doses. Patients have reported required medical support after taking ivermectin. It is not approved for the treatment of COVID-19. Formulation and treatment. For the systemic dose, ivermectin is available as a three milligram tablet. For the treatment of strongyloid diasis, which is stomach worms, the patient is to take 200 micrograms per kilogram. For the treatment of onchoceriasis, which is river blindness, the patient is to take 150 micrograms per kilogram every 3 to 12 months until the patient is asymptomatic. For the topical formulation, brand name Sclice, it is available as a 0.5% lotion. The patient is to apply the medication to dry hair and rinse after 10 minutes. The medication is also available as a 1% cream. To, for the treatment of rosacea, the patient is to apply a thin layer to the skin daily until the symptoms have gone. For dose adjustments, there are currently no dose adjustment available for kidney or hepatic impairment. For pregnancy and lactation, the fetal risk cannot be ruled out for this medication. Monitoring parameter. The patient should monitor for symptomatic improvement for the treatment of river blindness. 
The patient should see, should see a decrease in microfilial count in the eyes. For the stomach worms, the patient should check the stool after taking the medication once a month for up to three months after. For lice, the patient should see an absence in the lice. And this is the last page for the references. Thank you.